All right. So the Batman has already been greenlit for a sequel, and that is raising a lot of speculation on what the future holds for the caped crusader. There's been rumors that Mr. Freeze will make his appearance at the end of the Batman, as that will set up the sequel, and I am here to tell you that that is the best idea, and I really hope that this follows through. Mr. Freeze really got the justice he deserved in the animated series, but in live action, he just... no... In the animated series, they really reinvented his character to be a sympathetic, tragic character with an emotional and deep backstory with solid motives surrounding him trying to cure his sick wife. With what is being described with the current movie coming out with being the most emotional Batman movie ever, it only makes sense to continue the theme to the second movie to make this trilogy as deeply impactful as possible. I wish there were another way for me to say it. I cannot. I can only beg your forgiveness and pray you hear me somehow. Some place. Some place where a warm hand waits for mine. Some people watch superhero movies for the fun. Nah, I prefer it to be an emotionally psychological thrill ride. If you want fun, go watch Marvel. The theme here needs to stick. If done correctly, which knowing Matt Reeves, he knows in every way how to do this universe correct in its own way, I feel like Mr. Freeze could be pulled off in the same level as Kingpin from the Netflix Daredevil franchise. With both of them being pretty driven by their significant other, Kingpin more so further into the series, it adds a lot more of a relatable and humanizing element to the character which really tugs at the heartstrings. And with Mr. Freeze basically losing his wife, the one closest to him, it would tie Batman emotionally to the villain as they both have suffered the loss of the ones closest to them as it would most likely cause more emotional disturbance within Bruce as he would see and sympathize with Victor's motives making way for a psychological thrill ride quite like nothing else. And also another reason why Mr. Freeze needs to be the sequel villain, you can never go wrong with Batman in the winter time. If I were to choose... My choice for casting for Mr. Freeze would be none other than Giancarlo Esposito, Mr. Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. The extremely cold, calculated, and psychopathic element he brought to the table within that show really proves that he would and could pull off an amazing Mr. Freeze. Hell, he even looks the part. Since this movie franchise has been announced as a trilogy, it only makes sense to make the third movie to be fully themed around the Court of Owls. It has been said that the Batman is going to go into the corruption that has been going on within Gotham City throughout the centuries, and no one else would be the source of corruption quite like the Court of Owls. I feel at this point they won't be too involved in the Batman due to the massive influx of villains with the Riddler being the main focus, but the fact that they're spawned within the trailer doesn't deny that they're indeed a little bit present. You can't say that this is not an owl's mask. I feel like as the corruption is uncovered, the owls will be mentioned briefly here and there throughout the two movies, possibly seen as well, easter eggs included, but not enough to be taken away from the main villains. Kinda just chilling within the shadows like the owls they are. And in the third movie, they should very well make their debut and full appearance to be the main focus and target for Bruce. Waiting for the third movie to fully unleash the court would be the ultimate power move as they would slowly be getting built up throughout the first two films. It would be interesting to see everything that Bruce once knew slowly getting flipped upside down due to the corruption of the owls and having him come face to face with them in the third and hopefully not final installment. The emotions he would have festering and building towards them would be fully coming out with a vengeance, making yet for another emotional ride with the Dark Knight, hopefully serving us with the most emotional Batman trilogy ever. Having the trilogy end on the Court of Owls, I feel would make an even better way to expand the universe in future installments through spin-off shows or potentially spin-off movies. A pretty strong note to end on, especially since they have never seen the big screen yet. This franchise is my most anticipated franchise of literally all time, and nothing gets me more hyped than talking about the Batman and what could be. I hope that these are the routes that they take, I mean... If not, 
I will be happy with whatever happens, but looking at it from the tone and themes the first movie will tackle, this makes the most sense to me. So wrapping things up, my name is Freddy Savage, bringing you what I want to see in the sequels to The Batman, and I'll see you next time.